President Obama is celebrating his 49th birthday today, and Democrats are using his big day to fill their campaign coffers. Talking Points Memo, senior reporter Christina Bellantoni joins me. This must be the big new thing, right? Because um, here you have Charlie Rangel doing it in New York as well, using his 80th birthday as a fundraiser. Is this the, the big new way to get political dollars flowing? Well, this is this is a big story, Contessa. I've been tracking it for about 12 months here, and uh, yeah, it's it's certainly something that you're seeing a little bit more of. Just before I came on air, actually, Robin Carnahan, the Senate nominee on the Democratic side in Missouri, her mom, Jean Carnahan, asked people to donate $49 for her 49th birthday. So it's definitely getting a lot, but it's not the newest thing because people have done this for a while. Any gimmick to raise money is uh, something people are going to try. They're kind of beating me to the punch here, showing some of the events, but I'm looking at 545. We're showing a Hawaiian luau in Austin, Texas, a presidential potluck in Phoenix, and 49 candles for America in Des Moines, Iowa, and the Yes We Cake celebration in Evanston, Illinois. But again, 545 themed events around the country. Will this bring in the cash? Well, it, it'll probably do a little bit more of that grassroots organizing that, that the Obama for or the Organizing for America group basically has been doing since Obama was elected. This started with the Obama for America campaign in 2007, 2008. Don't forget, they actually held events to celebrate the anniversary of his opposition to the Iraq war speech. So this is something that they've done for a while. They, they peg things to big dates and then they get supporters to come out, sign mailing lists, get organized, talk to voters. Uh, Republicans, Christina, are also hoping to make money off the president's birthday. They released a set of these um, sort of mocking birthday cards, apparently so popular that it takes a very long time even to load the page. <laughs> Yeah, I actually tried to send one of these to a, a friend of mine whose birthday is today that has David Axelrod's picture on it, and they won't let you play any uh, mischief with it. You need to put like a real name or else they scan out any, uh, any nasty ones. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask you to weigh in. There was a debate going on in the newsroom today about whether it was mean for the first lady to go to Spain with uh, the Obama's daughter while the president was celebrating a birthday. And I, I came down on the side of men don't really care about their birthdays and it's number 49, it's not 50. This what do is you true. Think? I, have, I have a feeling she'll be in town for the 50th next year, uh, right when it's gearing up for a presidential re-election, by the way. But, you know, he's going to Chicago. He's going to get to see some of his friends, so maybe it's a good time for guys' night. Oh, wait, wait, do you get guys' night? I don't think the president's allowed a guys' night, is he? he oh, no, the guys all behind the camera are like, yes, he is. And do you guys care about your birthdays? No. They're all shrugging. No, they don't care. Christina, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Contessa. We've